heard of big cities hosting immersive art exhibits. Well, you don't have to travel too far to see one for yourself. Yeah, this is the Van Gogh Alive exhibit at the Biltmore Estate in Asheville, where you can walk into the prolific painter's world. Shannon Smith and Katie Inman hopped across the state line to see if this trendy exhibit lives up to the hype. It's one thing to look at a painting. It's another thing to be in one. Shannon, how did you do that? Katie, it's something all of us can do at the new immersive Van Gogh exhibit at the Biltmore Estate. Come on, I'll show you. Uh, uh, okay, I just... This is Van Gogh Alive. Oh, I think it's completely a wow experience. 3,000 projections showcasing 900 works of art by the one and only Vincent Van Gogh. You're totally immersed from the minute you hit the door. Travis Tatham and her team worked for over two years to bring these paintings from the brushstroke to the Biltmore. To see them on the giant screens and be surrounded by that, and that's set to a classical score of music. And it just gives you just a phenomenal feeling inside to experience that. Step inside a darkened ballroom that comes alive with the sights, sounds, and smells of sunflowers and a starry night. You've heard the song, Starry, Starry Night. Paint your palette blue and gray. Cheryl Thomas made the trip from Sevierville to Asheville. We wanted to see Van Gogh live because I do those Diamond Dots paintings and I've done eight of his. To pay tribute to one of her favorite painters. You've got to see, it's awesome. In fact, I'm gonna get on Facebook and tell my peeps because it goes around the country. The 45 minute art exhibit takes you through Van Gogh's life as a painter. There are over um, a thousand quotes that he wrote and if you read those quotes, they're just really inspirational. And I think that just adds to our immersive experience at Biltmore. Housed in Deer Park on the Biltmore property, this space designed for a different audience takes on a new style. This building was originally built to be a location for um, groups and obviously COVID changed that business model for us. Well, how do we overcome that and create something that we can utilize the space for? Be it landscapes or portraits, 91,000 people have viewed Van Gogh through a different lens. So when I walked in, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. It's, it's cool. Your point of view is up to you. Sit on the sides or stand in the center to immerse yourself in art. Reporting in Asheville, North Carolina, I'm Katie Inman. And I'm Shannon Smith.